All right, gang, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our fresh video. Uh, today, we're gonna take a look at some Lego Ideas uh, submissions. And these are really, really cool ones because these were part of an 80s challenge and these two um, designs have now reached the threshold and Lego are going to be reviewing them and taking a look at them, that, which means that in the future, we could potentially see sets based around these IPs on the shelves. I am super, super excited about these. As an 80s man myself, I grew up with all the best 80s movies and two of them that are two of my favorites are mentioned, or seen I should say, here. So let's jump in and take a look at these LEGO Ideas submissions. So LEGO Ideas gang, um, I've mentioned this before, I did a video on it before, where I think I did five really cool submissions to LEGO Ideas, but if you are a first time hearing about this, essentially what LEGO Ideas is, is a part of the LEGO brand and it has its own website whereby uh, we, the general public, can submit our LEGO mocks and our LEGO ideas to LEGO. LEGO will then take a look at it once it reaches um, 10,000 votes. It will go through a review process and then LEGO potentially think about building those sets. The Jaws set was actually submitted. The Tuxedo Cat that we've recently had was submitted. There's loads of ideas that have made their way onto this website that LEGO have then chosen to either buy up the IPs or use the designs to then move this forward and create sets themselves that end up on the shelves. What I do have to remind you though is that the submissions are not always the final product that LEGO will put out. They always make minor changes, um, they try to make things um, easier to build, bring piece counts down, that sort of thing. So do keep that in mind. But these two submissions, in my opinion, are really, really cool because they're based around superb 80s movies. Um, I will run you through though what the theme was and the competition because the winners have been announced as a result of it. So it's time for a hefty dose of nostalgia as we announce the winners from our epic 80s challenge. Earlier in the year, we launched an 80s theme challenge. Uh, if we could turn back time, we were blown away by the amazing 292 submissions. So this is what I'm saying, 290 90 odd submissions, only two ideas uh, made it far enough to go to the review process. So, so not every idea is going to gain the traction amongst the LEGO community. Uh, LEGO will, obviously look at the comments and look at the, the um, votes because they want to build what we want. I know that's a really rare thing because a lot of people don't really feel like Lego is pushing their product towards the, the customer base as much anymore and it's more about monetary gain, but this kind of goes against that um, because this is all based on people voting for each of the sets they'd like to see made. I am going to do another video on this real soon about some of the other cool submissions that have been made, but I just thought this was a really cool one-off video to make. Um, everything um, There was everything that you could possibly imagine from Bob Ross and the Blues Brothers to Inspector Gadget and Garfield. We're spoiled for choice with a wide selection of 80s characters, movies, moments, memorabilia. In fact, the nostalgia was so strong uh, the mullet finally came back into fashion. Um, so yeah, it just goes on to say that the, the, you know, the lineup was really, really impressive. So meet the winning models. First up, let us uh, offer a big congratulations. We set sail with the epic adventure, The Goonies. Now I had sort of seen this one before. Um, I'd been sent an image of this set um, and was like, God, if they ever made a Goonies set, then I would, you know, break the bank to buy that because the Goonies is one of my favorite, favorite movies. Now, I'm not going to show you just the image that we've got here because obviously it's his family, not final product. There's a big sticker across the front of it and, you know, it's not the best image. I will show you because I found the original post of this, all of the images because if Lego makes something even just a small amount close to what this person's made, it would be incredible. Um, but this was um, designed by D Delusion Bricks and they captured all the on-screen moments from the booby traps to the legendary ship, One-Eyed Willy. Um, this model depicts the entire Goonies adventure, uh, adventure sorry, in one well thought out model. Now it may not look like that from this image, but when I show you the others, you're gonna see exactly how they nailed that. And so these are the really, really cool images. Now, I think this image alone, this this build, this part of the build alone looks insane. They've managed to get all of the minifigures, um, you know, um, that, they, that are in the film. I, I think if we're gonna get a Goonie set, 
we need every single minifig as well. We, we, you know, they've got to go all out because no, no, no character in that movie is is bigger than the other. I, I know, you know, Mikey's the one that kind of drives the the story, um, but you know, the the Goonies are made up of you know a bunch of misfits at the end of the day, and I think we have to have all of the minifigs if we're going to get um, a Goonies set. But like I say, it's super super impressive. You know, the ship details and whatnot are, are really really cool. But what's cooler about this and what's unbelievable about this set is the back side of the set basically takes you through the story of the Goonies movie. Um, obviously the, 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 the ship is, is a big thing, they, they try to find One-Eyed Willie and his treasure, but it, it, it takes you through the entire adventure, you know, from the shack that the, that the criminals are, that are in and then they go underground and then you've got the, the area with the booby traps um, there, th see th this by the way, the octopus. Some some might be wondering what that is. There is a um, a director's cut that's rarely seen, where in the water when they come down that slide, um, an octopus appears. Um, but they decide to cut it from the final movie. But you can find a director's cut where that's actually in there. So that's a, that's a nice nod actually to um, a different version of the Goonies that not a lot of people have seen. Um, you've got the bit with the wishing well, you've obviously got the bit where Mikey gets kissed at that skull uh, shaped juncture, you have the skeleton organ and then you have the bit where they walk across the log and then obviously the slide down into the pool. It is an ex an, just an exceptional, exceptional model and I really hope that as and when Lego decide to tackle this because obviously it's reached the review process and lego are very much looking to you know push this one forward i hope they nail it as much as this person has um like th th look at the detail even more detail here um i love all the drain pipes i love all the booby traps um it, it's just very very cool you know um, the wishing well part is, is is excellent. Obviously, this is lit up. This set it won't be lit like this, unfortunately, when Lego decide to re to release it. But um, it does look very very cool with all the moody lighting as well. Um, and then if we go into the next, uh, sorry, onto this one, um, there's the the organ, which I think is spectacular. I love the log as well, and uh, the way they've incorporated this slide down in is very, very, uh, um, very, very cool. And I love the fact that this can break into multiple pieces as well. Um, it will definitely, definitely be downsized, unfortunately, when Lego tackle it, because I think to build something on this scale, it would be such an expensive set for us to all buy. And, you know, Lego already get it in the ear about how much their sets are. I can't see them being able to build this and put this out as expensive as this set probably cost to build. And the next one that's going to go to review, and it's being seriously, seriously considered by Lego, is this amazing Mugwai. Uh, sit tight and keep your reports coming as we introduce you a very cute interpretation. That's interruption there, but it's actually should be interpretation of the beloved Gizmo from Gremlins as created by Taraomi. As a family favourite, Christmas viewing for Taraomi, it was no surprise the mod Model has so much passion and attention to detail poured into its memorable character. Now, I love this one because Gremlins, like um, The Goonies, was a much beloved film by yours truly when I was younger. Um, I still sit and watch Gremlins around about Christmas with my wife. We're, we're 80s buffs, we love those movies. Um, and uh, so this is a real favourite of mine. I've actually got the instructions to build um, a mock uh, Giz that I'd found on uh, Rebrickable. But I actually prefer this one because I think he's nailed the eyes a little bit better. Um, this is one of those sets that if Lego are really clever, and they haven't been recently, but if they are very, very clever, they make this one a nice price. They, they, I always, I think about Dobby, okay? I'm thinking about the Dobby set, 25 pounds that was on release. It's a really, really lovely set. And it's very similar to this. If you put this with a base and a potential Giz minifig and you do it for 25, 30 quid, I think it sells. I think it does super, super well because it's just, it's about scale, it's about pieces, it's about keeping that down. They can do it. Whether or not they choose to, you know, I don't know. Lego's prices are on the high side at the moment. You know, I've been talking about it recently when I do news and leaks and all that sort of stuff. It is on the high side. But if Lego are clever, they can do this one at a really nice, affordable price where everybody can afford it. And everyone that is my our age or around about my age is gonna want this because it's a cult movie from its time. 
It's a cool looking set. And I think Taraomi, a bit like uh, the guy that built, has built the, 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 uh, the, the Goonie set, has absolutely nailed the brief. They've smashed this one. And it is an 80s classic. Um, and I think both of these, to get to this point, is super exciting. Um, as, as an 80s kid, as I've already mentioned, it's so nice to see Lego uh, think about um, you know, building sets that maybe a lot of older people want to see, you know, and uh, we, we need more of this nostalgic stuff. The Jaws set that just came out recently was a Lego idea set and it, it's it's obscene. It's so, so cool. Um, and it's going to be one of those that I buy as someone who's a firm favourite of those cult classic movies. And to, to these two creators, congratulations. It's so good to see that your, uh, you know, your builds have made it to the review process. And I hopefully look forward to taking a look at these as and when LEGO creates them and they end up on our shelves. And so there you go, my friends. We are done and dusted with today's video. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Something a little bit different. I hope to see those two on the shelves in the not too distant future. I just want to bring to your attention, I probably should have done this at the beginning of the video rather than at the end, but I am away on holiday from next Wednesday. So do not worry if, and do not fret if there's not a lot of content on the channel. It's just one of those things. I'll be away sunning myself in beautiful Greece. But until then, subscribe if you're new. You know you want to do it if you've not done it already. Like the video because it's the best way to support the channel. And you stay building good people. See you all later.